We say aloha and welcome. My name is Jeff Coelho, your host for citizensforabetterway.com. That's right, citizensforabetterway.com. You can find us online, get all the information. By now, you may have talked to some of your friends who have heard the buzz about the single casino idea in Waikiki. Well, today, joining me in our show is uh, my co-host and uh, the person I've had the joy of working with the last few months on this project, John Radcliffe. John, thanks for joining me today in the studio. I thought we'd do something different today, John. You know, since we started, we tried to have guests. We've tried to, you know, talk about the entertainment aspect, the job aspect, and why a single casino idea in Waikiki definitely works. And and maybe you can just take two minutes and educate our audience, our first-time viewers, why we're doing, you know, the single idea of a single casino in Waikiki and where this started. Sure. Thanks, Jeff. Well. The purpose of uh, Citizens for a Better Way was to find a way that we could begin to broaden the base of our economy to build, build us a bigger economic pie for the state of Hawaii. And we thought the best way to do that would be uh, to have a single casino in the state of Hawaii. Now, we've listened to people who said that they don't want a lot of casinos in the state of Hawaii, and we don't want a lot of casinos either. We would like to have just one, and we think we should be in the entertainment capital of, of Hawaii. It should be in Honolulu and it should be directly in Waikiki because frankly that's where all the tourists are and a lot of the tourists would, would uh, well, and do we this can, if We they can could. accommodate this right. type of a venue and it right. fits in very nicely and you know when you and I first started talking about this what I really like is the idea that someone will actually take out a checkbook and write us, the taxpayers in Hawaii, a check for anywhere from 150 to 200 million dollars for the right to have a license to build this casino right. means that's you know 150 200 million dollars less that I got to pay. Well that's in our that's in our legislation. In our legislation uh, we have uh, that the person or or entity that would get the license to run the casino would have to come up with uh, a fee of uh, somewhere around 150 million dollars. Uh, because there's some real problems associated with any time you put any kind of a building in anywhere, and this would just be a good thing for, our, for the people of our state. It would be a great thing for the, our state government to have. Plus, everybody who would apply for a license, and there would be, we would imagine, perhaps several dozen people or at least a dozen or so entities that would apply to have a license, each one of them to even put their name in would have to put down a million dollars in right. non-refundable money uh, just to be in the application process. Wow. So, so, that, so that could really add some money to us right off the bat before we start anything. Well, hence the name Citizens for a Better Way because, you know, your water bill, they're talking 70% increases. Your car tax has gone up at least 30, 35%. You're paying more for a gallon of milk. You're paying more for education. You're paying more for after school care. You're paying more for medical insurance. You're, the common denominator here is we're all paying more more and more and you know over the last few shows that we've done quite a few of you have written us emails and so what we thought we'd do today is answer some of your questions and emails in our program because we are citizensforabetterway.com and that includes you that's right you are included in citizens for a better way go online sign up we need your support we need your help we need your working for this because this is one way to pay just a little less in taxes. So John, let me read the first email I have here. It's from Noriko. Noriko writes, Aloha citizens for a better way. I saw your program on Olelo. I was blown away with the idea. You know, the state has a lot of money problems like in most places. So I'm just curious, how, how can I help advance the idea of a single casino in Hawaii? Good well, question. Good question. A lot of things that Noriko could do. Uh, one of the things that she could do would be to write to her legislator. Uh, to get legislators interested in this because frankly uh, legislators are going to have to uh, pursue this issue. They're going to, we've had bills in the legislature in the past dozen years or so but uh, frankly all of them have failed uh, for one reason or another. There's been a lot of anti-stuff talk, there's been a lot of NIMBY, you no, know, not in my mm. backyard kind of talk uh, but it, in the last few years there's been a growing interest but legislators need to know that their constituents feel that they would like to have a casino. And I, I could point out too, and I'm, I'm sure I should, that approximately 80% of the people who come to Hawaii, tourists that come to Hawaii, 
want to see a casino in the state wow. of Hawaii. That, that's a terrific number. Absolutely terrific, terrific number. Now, if you need the contact information, you can find that on our website. We have all the legislators' direct information on our website, citizensforabetterway.com. John, let me read you another email question. Your program on Olelo opened my eyes. Waikiki really does need more entertainment. It seems like decades ago when we went to a movie. It seems like a casino would create some jobs and help bail out the economy. Sign me up as a supporter. <laughs> and so I want to thank this person for signing up. And again, that's at our website, citizensforabetterway.com. You can sign up to help. Now, here's a question that a person had. Okay, you guys advance the idea. You talk about the idea. But... How do you stop it from becoming Las Vegas? Well, you stop it from becoming Las Vegas by just having one, uh, just but limiting the number of licenses that you're able to have in the state of Hawaii. And I should point out that in the United States, in the 48 states uh, that have uh, casinos and or some form of gambling, uh, there are 11,208 or nine, it's almost 11,210 uh, <laughs> casinos or, or, or something in, in those states. So we're surrounded by that, but yet don't have any, anything like that in our state. So that's why people are beginning to say, you know, we really should have something like that. If we're going to compete for tourists, we have to have something like that. We, if we're going to have entertainment, in our in Waikiki once again. You know, earlier somebody pointed out about going to the movies in Waikiki. Yeah. Well, there used to be nine theaters in Waikiki, and then they gradually went out down to one theater in Waikiki, and now there are no theaters in, in Waikiki. Waikiki. So there's all. nothing at all wow. to do. You know, back in the 70s, for example, and in the 80s, uh, there were dozens of entertainment venues in our, in our Waikiki area. Almost every hotel had some sort of a entertainment venue. Now we've got nothing. Well, here's another question. This one comes from someone over on, on the island of Maui, and they write, I saw your show on Olelo talking about the single casino in Waikiki. In the past, I've always been against legalized gambling in Hawaii, but is there truly someone who will write us a check for over $100 million? Thank you so much, Jerry from Maui. Yes, there are people who will write us a check for a hundred million or a hundred and fifty million dollars for the opportunity to have a long long-term license to have a, a casino casinos make money there's no question at all about that uh, and they're you know they're, they they draw people to them because people like to have a place to go and be entertained and do things and so that would be it would be people aren't going to do it because they're you know they're going to do it be, uh, for for eleemosynary reasons, they're going to do it because it's commercially viable. Commercially viable. Now here's another email. I'm going to try to get through as many of these as possible. By the way, I want to thank you, those of you out there who have submitted questions. Uh, you can reach us on our website, citizensforabetterway.com. Send us any question. We're going to get to as many questions as possible that we can get to on the show today. But yeah. you know, also, John. Even if we don't get to your question on the air, we'll, we'll respond to you. You know, I mean, that, right. that's what we're all about. Jeff, we're all about people. Jeff, I want to I point out to the folks who might be watching today that Citizens for a Better Way has been, for the last several months, has been getting 1,000 hits a day on, or, and more on our, on our website. People from all over the United States and all over the world have been going to the Citizens for a Better Way website to look for it. Now, ironically... We think that many of them are tourists who are looking for a place to go to, you know, for entertainment <laughs> and have a casino in Hawaii. Oh, you got a casino in Hawaii? Great. Great. Where's you know, it where, be? Where, where, where is, is it? Where is it? I want wow, to go. You got live I want to go there. Great. I want to go there. Go. So, you know, but We'd they love to go. So they look at it and they go, "Oh, well, it's not there yet." All right, here, here's yeah. a question from a person who lives in Aya, and she just gave us her first name, Mary. And this is from Mary and Aya. All right, I've heard this argument before over and over and over and over again, and you guys still haven't built one. I'm getting tired of waiting for it. <clears throat> Don't just talk about it. Build it. What can I do? I'm so tired of hearing about it. Either do it already. We well, can't, that's a good question. That's a good question. I mean, it's, it's been a topic of discussion for a long time, huh, John? The, the legislature is the key. And the legislature is not going to act unless the citizens of the state decide that they want something. Unless, for example, the public unions, unless uh, groups of concerned citizens begin to say to the legislature, now you listen here, 
this is a good idea and you should give it a, give it a try. And until they do that, legislators are going to be timid and shy about wanting to pursue the issue on their own. You see, because legislators are afraid that their neighbors don't really want it. And so they hear from those who don't. They do not hear from those who do. You know, that's an interesting observation. Um, at an earlier junction in my life, I actually worked uh, at the city and county of Honolulu. And I was amazed at how many people would call me in a week to complain about, you know, either a pothole or, or something that they were opposed to. But the people who supported an idea... They never called. They never called. Right. And, and so, guys, if you're out there and you're, if you agree with us, you know, or at least get the information, go to our website, citizensforabetterway.com. Get all the facts. And after you have the facts and the information <clears throat> and you agree with us that there's got to be a better way. I mean, there has to be a better way than raising your taxes every time something needs to be paid for. Or the fact that you're now paying more for your medical insurance. Or how about our teachers who just got, you know, all kinds of cuts. And how about, you know, all of this stuff. I mean, heck, just recently I saw where the liability on unfunded liabilities for pensions are like in the billions of dollars. You and I as taxpayers here in Hawaii, we're going to be paying for all this stuff. I mean, we pay for it now. This is just the way government works. But you know what, guys? We're saying there's got to be a better way. And it begins with you putting some friendly pressure or at least making yourself known to your state legislator. Now, if you're not sure who your state legislator is, go to our website. We've got a complete listing by district. You can call them. You can leave them a message. You can send them an email. You can send them a letter. But you've got to stand up and you've got to say, hey, come on. Let's cash the check for $150 million. You know, um, we, we people who live in Hawaii, those of us who go to Las Vegas and go to other gambling venues in the United States, are currently spending a billion dollars a year. In wow. Yeah, a billion dollars a year in after-tax dollars. Uh, That's know, just leaving the island. Leaves the it's kind of like taking a dollar right. bill and putting some wings and none jet of fuel is, on it. None of that is put to, go. put to good use in our state. It does not <laughs> multiply among, oh the, uh, it, the, among the businesses in our state. It just leaves. And when we, when we leave that billion dollars in Nevada and other places, that helps their economies terrifically, but it does nothing for our own. Subsequently, because we are spending a billion dollars out of state and we are not allowing any of our tourists to have the advantages of and have the gambling or, or gaming entertainment inside of our state, that means the rest of us have to pay more taxes That's right. in order to keep, the, to keep the government operating. That's right. You know, government needs to operate as well. I'm not saying it doesn't, but we are not going to be able to fund the government That's unless right. we have the funds to do it, and we are not going to get those funds unless we have a broader economy. Now, you know, Citizens for a Better Way is a group of independent citizens that band it together, and the list grows every single day. You can join our list by visiting our website at citizensforabetterway.com. Sign up as a volunteer. Give us your contact information. Man, we can use all the grassroots troops we can use because we are not going to stop until we can get this done. Let me read you this next question, John. You're going to enjoy this one, okay? This comes from Mildred. I'm 87 years old, and I live in Kalihi. Three years ago, I stopped going to Vegas because I couldn't get on the airplane anymore. Please build it before I can't even walk anymore. <laughs> now, you got to love that. I mean, I, I, do, I, mean, yeah. I mean, come on. I mean, I'm making light out of it, but, you know, there are a lot of people in Hawaii that enjoy gaming and right now they're you know there's yeah. they're they're voting public they're they're seniors i mean I, I went to zippy's yesterday and i was watching the folks go into into zippy's and that's the heart and soul frankly of our there you go of our people in hawaii that are going into zippy's every day and a lot of those folks i i know if they had the opportunity to go down and spend a couple hours in the casino or you know once a week or maybe once a month that they would really enjoy having done that. And, it, and it, it, there's an opportunity for those kind of folks who live here who don't really want to make a long, you right. know, tough plane flight to some other part of the United States. Well, you know, you mentioned earlier a billion dollars. I did some simple math. That, that's got to be like 500,000 trips a year being taken. Roughly, to Vegas. yeah. Well, it is roughly about half a million trips a year out of Hawaii. If you go down wow. to the, you go down to the uh, uh, airport, and look at, uh, there, there's a whole area there for, for people just to go. 
you know, to Nevada. You know, just to go to Nevada. You know, just a big group of, of kiosks down there for folks who can... Now, you know, now, just to show you that I'm an impartial host on our show, Citizens for a Better Way, I'm going to read an email from, from John. This is from John in Ina Heine. And John writes, I disagree with you guys. I saw your show and I disagree with you guys. Let's not build one. Let's build one on every island. Well, if you start multiplying uh, casinos in a small state like ours, we have 7 million tourists a year that come to the state of Hawaii. Uh, you know, not, a, not 170, but 7 million tourists a year that come here. And we have our own population. If you build too many, it's going to be difficult to keep them all going. I suppose you'd run into a situation where, you know, if it's not economically viable, right. they would simply go under. Uh, and that would, that would be the end of that, like well, the movie theaters to, in it, Waikiki. Well, well, it would seem to me also that part of the reason why we, you know, Citizens for a Better Way, like this idea, part of it is, forget, forget the, uh, the casino idea for just a second. Let's talk about the license, okay, and the yeah. licensing of the pro Let's think of it as a product, okay, right. in, in addressing John's question. If we think of it as a product, if we as a state have seven products, we're not going to get as much of no, a licensing you're, you're fee not for those seven find, products. You're not going to find uh, seven people willing, seven entities willing to give 150 million dollars for a license because you know if you give one, right? Whoa, that, that has that's value. A, that's a value. Right, right. But if you have two, obviously a lot less value. If you have seven, way less. Right. So right. you know you're just not going to be able to not going to be able to do that. It won't be as good for the venue. It won't be as good for the to the entity that actually gets the license. And it probably won't be as good for us either because it'll just it'll just be too many. Well, and, and some of the things we, some of the complaints we've heard from you know members of Citizens for a Better Way who like the idea of the single casino is, the minute you open it up to two, three, four, five, ten, twenty, forty, whatever, you then become Las Vegas, and yeah. that's what everybody well, keeps saying. Let's not make it a Las Vegas. Yeah. And, and so if we if we dwell on that question a little bit further. By having the high licensing fee, one of the ways you could prevent the second casino would be if the second casino came along, then you wouldn't have a license fee, and why would you do it then, right? Well, well, what's happened in some states, Connecticut comes to mind. Connecticut has two casinos, uh, and in those, it, in, it, it's got Foxwood and it's got one other casino in, in, in that state. The way they limited it there legislatively was by saying that if the legislature permits more than two, then they lose the income from the first two. Ah. And, and so there's no legislator in their right mind is going to add that is going to kill the golden goose in order to get, right. you know, several small chickens. <laughs> <laughs> well, let me, let me dive into another, another email because we got so many of them. And I, obviously, we're not going to get them to them all in, in this show, but I'm just kind of picking a few of them. Here's one. Hello, I'm writing a response to a program I saw recently on Lolelo that talks about a single casino in Waikiki. I, I got to admit that the idea made me think, why not? So I'm asking the question, why not? Who, who, who opposes this idea? Lots of people oppose it. Uh, Boy Gaming has opposed it for some time. They do, they do a marvelous job, you know, outside of our state. Well, I, I can see why. <laughs> I, of course, I so, can understand why, they, you know, they got 400,000 trips coming out of Hawaii. Gambling, I can see why they don't want one Gambling here. interests don't like it because they're doing rather well having us go there and, uh -huh. us, and not being able to compete with them here. So they, they like that a whole bunch. Uh, some church groups are opposed for philosophical and religious reasons. Uh, we have people in Hawaii who want nothing in my backyard, NIMBYs we call them. Uh, so you, there's always that. So, you know, you know in Hawaii there's always peop there are always people who say no to everything. I mean, it took 30 years or 35 years to build the H2 freeway, for example. Yes. It takes uh, you know, decades to build it takes a project. Decades to be. I mean, you were the city yeah. government. You, oh, under, you oh, understand it, it, it takes it, it, a, it takes a long time. It's impossible to move the aircraft carriers. So why as I, as hasn't I call it? Why hasn't it happened so far? Because we live in a place where we don't do things easily. We do things the hard way. That's the way we do them, and it's going to take time. <laughs> well, I think you know. I think one of the. I'm going to speak for myself here. I think part of the problem is you at home. You at home who agree with us need to take a much more active role. 
you need to sign up at our website. That's where it begins, okay? But then you need to share this idea with your friends because you know what? Do something about it. I mean, when you go to the grocery store tomorrow and you're paying the kind of prices you're paying for stuff and then you're paying the tax on top of that and then you're registering your car and then you're paying more for electricity and then you're paying more for this and more for that. I mean, I saw an article the other day that roughly 17 different types of tax increases occurred. And here's the scary part, people. All of the tax adjustments or all of the mumbo jumbo that the legislature used the last time, it's all been used. There is no magic bullet out there anymore that they can reach for. They need to look for a better way, John. And you know what? Well, yes. Last time I saw, there aren't too many people lining up to write us a check for $150 million. There are, there are no, none others that, no others that are in that, in that group. And I, I should point out, and you raise a very good point, that in order to balance the budget the last time, we rated every special fund that we had. Uh, the rainy day fund is gone. All those special funds are, in fact, gone. So if you're a senior citizen in the state of Hawaii, and you don't think that your, you know, the cost of your pension is going to go up. If you don't think that your medical is not going to oh, go up. Oh, it's going to go up. All that sort of stuff is going to go up. If you don't think your taxes are going to go up, regardless. If it's you're, going in, up. If you're a public employee, if you think you're going to be able to get a pay raise somehow out of the, out of the uh, rock, that, the stone that's <laughs> now become the state, that you can't squeeze any more blood out of that stone, we have to have... Uh, more business in Hawaii. We've got to have more in our economy. We've got to bring people in. And this is the way to do it because there aren't a lot of others, people out there who are, who are clamoring to get at us. As you pointed out, no, no other entity is trying to get well, in here. Well, let me just ask you this. So we're talking $150 million for the license. Okay, so now it's year two, year three. Do we get anything? Yes, we get a lot. First of all, we get about three, uh, it's a very labor intensive business having a casino. So about 3,000 people will be hired and they will all be earning a paycheck and they will be able to be taxed on, on their earnings and so forth as, as you go through that. That will spin off into other businesses and all sorts of equipment that's used for uh, casinos and so forth, and not to mention carpets and you know everything that goes into it, food. And so, so, forth. so it, it it becomes an income generator. It's an income generator by and so of itself. Source of revenue. Plus, then you have the taxes that will be raised on everybody who goes into the casino and entertainment center that we're kind of looking at. All of that. Right now, as you know, we pay 4.5 or if you really look at it, 4.712 of, <laughs> of our money for, for general excise tax on the island of Oahu. Um, the casino would pay 15% on every oh, activity inside. Oh, so a inside. triple GET tax. Triple the GET, more than triple wow. the GET okay. tax. That, that's a so huge that component. Raise, so we would, raise, we would raise about $100 million a year in, from all forms of payroll taxes, GET tax, and so forth, that that would be added into our economy just from having a casino. Well, I, you know, we, we've, we've covered some very interesting points here today. It's a show that we do. We try to educate the public. You can find all kinds of information on our website. We are citizensforabetterway.com. You'll find us online there. You'll find many, many surveys and many data. And, and John, before we take one last question, uh, maybe you can share with the audience some of the statistics that exist as to, you know, what other countries are seeing the rewards of recently enacting gaming? Well, take Singapore, for example. Singapore was for many, many years very anti-gaming. And, and they, their position was we'll never have gaming in our, in our city-state, Singapore. Their G, uh, their G gross economic product has gone up 17% wow. with, the, with the, just having a casino in Singapore. People now come from all over Asia to go to Singapore to gamble, and it has really added to their, uh, their economic base. If you look around the world, whether it's Australia or, or even Korea, or, or now in, almost in Japan, Japan is looking at, at gaming in its own, in, inside of its own islands, uh, that all over the place we're, we're, we're seeing that. Mexico, for example, which has had its problems lately with, you know, you know, drug problems and so forth. So a lot of 
the people who would normally go to Mexico are now coming to Hawaii. But all of those places around in, in the Caribbean and so forth, they all have gaming. Every place has it that's tourist related, virtually every place except Hawaii. And we've been kind of proudly keeping gaming out of Hawaii for a long time saying, well, we don't want to be like any place else. And I'm saying, well, we need to look at other places as well. If, if, it's, if gaming is legal in 48 states, and if it if it's works well and it brings in money for those economies, then we ought to look at it for our own. And I hope people get, get well, on that I'm, issue. I, you know, I, I think a, a lot of people out there are, you know, just you got to get involved. And you get involved by visiting our website. And I want to get to our last question before we wrap up this edition of citizensforabetterway.com. And this last question kind of sums up the whole thing. Okay, let's say we get behind it, we write our legislator, and you get everything done, and you actually have somebody write us the big check that you and John talked about. How long before it opens? That's a great question. <laughs> it's a great question. We think we, we think we can get there in about a year. Okay. Wow. So, a year. Yeah. Wow. Okay. So it, it's going to take some you know take some bit about time, but we would get the money from you know from the license fee up front. Wow. That's a big help. That would be an immediate infusion of cash. We would get all the money from the people that would be asking to be considered to get a license. That would be money that would, we wouldn't get from any other source. So we would get you know, quite a lot of money right up front while we're waiting for the thing to be built. Well, John, I want to thank you as usual. You, you, you and I have this discussion, and we've been talking about you know, the single casino idea in Waikiki for some time now. I know you've been working on it for a number of years. Uh, ultimately, it is, it is something that's going to require your help, uh, our viewers out there. Get involved on this issue. If you feel that we are right and that this is a better way, this, that you're tired of paying all these higher taxes already and you're tired of somebody telling you what you, you know, get involved. Just sign up on our website. Our mission, here's our mission. We get 1,000 people a day right now, but our mission is by December, we want to have Marshall a protest march, a demonstration of support at the Capitol. We're going to do the shirts, the hats, the whole thing, and we'd love to have you join us. John, you think how many people we can get out there? I don't know, but I think we ought to shoot for at least a couple of thousand, maybe I think, more. I think we can get 2,000. Until the next time, you join us here on citizensforabetterway.com. As I always say, always spread the aloha.